welcome to our study. We're in Exodus 16. Today we're looking at verses 13 to 15. And this chapter's got some interesting bits in it. Let's look at this. So it came about at evening that the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew evaporated, behold, on the surface of the wilderness there was a fine flake-like thing, fine as the frost on the ground. When the sons of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. All right, now we've come to the quails and the manna. Now the quails, they're just going to get those just a couple of times. But the manna, they're going to get for 40 years, and we'll be talking about that later in this chapter. Uh, but let's, let's, and we'll find out more about what the manna is, but... Uh, interesting piece, piece here is when they see this stuff on the ground, they say, what is it? And in Hebrew, how would you say that? Well, more or less, manna. Uh, it's, it's a question. What is it? And so they didn't know what to call it, so they called it, what is it? Hey, let's have some what is it. Let's have some whatchamacallit. So it's manna, and God is going to provide this for them day by day, all through the, these next 40 years. They don't know it's 40 years yet, but yeah, it's going to be 40 years in the wilderness. So they get the quails in the evening, and that was a, a not a lot is made of it in this chapter. But the quail, they don't really need the quail, but they ask for it, and God, you know, they want some food, some flesh meat. God's going to give them some here, but mostly he doesn't give them a lot of flesh meat. He's going to give them mostly manna. So it's quails in the evening, manna in the morning, and this is going to establish a regimen for the next uh, long time. They don't know it yet. The point I want to bring out here today is. This manna, it is bread from heaven. It is food provided from God to his people from heaven. And when they saw it, what did they say? What is it? And a lot of times when God is providing for us, God is providing insight. He's providing for us lechem. He's providing bread from, from heaven to us. A lot of times we look at it and, and we say, well, <laughs> what is it? We don't understand it. Is this bread from heaven or is this not bread from heaven? Is this something else? And there's so many things, you know, the scholars have critically attacked the Bible and moan and complain. And by the way, they say that the manna is some little thing that's excreted by these, these little bugs that uh, gets through, that, that is available at any time in Sinai. No, oh, just no, just don't even, don't waste our time with that. This was uh, enough food to feed perhaps multiple millions of people uh, daily in the wilderness. So more or less daily. So yeah, this is not like little tiny, little tiny bits they're picking off. This is, this is coming in big sheets on the ground. So no, the, the, don't, try to, don't, don't try that on me. But this was the point of interest to me was that how often God is feeding us. He's providing what we need. He's giving us what we need. It's from heaven from heaven to me, needy earth person, needy human person. And so many times when we get God's guidance and his instruction, we're, we're not so sure it's from, from heaven. Why? Maybe it's because there's something in there we don't like. I don't want to do that. I don't, I, why should I do that? And instead of just saying, yes, Lord, uh, we, we moan and complain and think up reasons why maybe this isn't from heaven. Maybe it's been misunderstood. Maybe this is just human things that got blended into the Bible. So be careful, beware, beware the good rational brain that God has given you. It's good for you. It's important. Uh, God wants you to use it right, but often the devil will try to get us to use it to question his word. Is this from God or is it not? And a lot of times we have trouble discerning what's from heaven. Why? Because we don't want to do it when God shows us what to do. So and let's suppress self. Let's ask God's Holy Spirit to help us so that self is subdued, and when God gives us bread from heaven, we receive it and do it. You will be blessed, I guarantee you. All right, see you tomorrow morning.